a guy went out to film a lightning storm and captured the most terrifying experience of his life there's a smell of ozone in the air and thunder booms all around every now and then the sky glows in brilliant shades of pink and purple while flashes of lightning light up the sky it's a scene worth capturing for sure but as one man discovered it's not worth risking your life for nothing on earth is more inspiring than the mighty power of nature at its most violent there are volcanoes erupting with lava and ash earthquakes that topple buildings and split the ground and mighty tsunamis that carry off everything in their path fortunately these are relatively rare occurrences it doesn't just take events like floods and hurricanes to impress on us how potent nature is we can see it all around us every day when you think about it even a decent sunrise or sunset is pretty spectacular probably one of the most impressive natural displays most of us will experience though is an exciting thunderstorm there's still a certain amount of mystery surrounding thunderstorms or electrical storms as they're also known we know that they occur when a certain type of cloud called a cumulonimbus gathers they're also usually but not always accompanied by strong winds and precipitation it's generally easy to tell when a storm is on the way within these heavy cumulonimbus clouds an electrical charge builds the higher parts of the clouds are positively charged while the lower regions are negatively charged there isn't a consensus on exactly how this happens but the most likely explanation involves colliding particles of moisture the effect of water droplets or ice crystals smashing into each other is what separates the positive and negative electrons once the two have reached a certain point of separation they try to come together again to neutralize it's this process that ends up creating the sparks that become lightning what we see as one lightning strike may in fact be up to 40 strikes in the same spot in rapid succession exactly where lightning will strike is never clear beforehand although the odds are it will hit the most elevated object available that's not always what happens it's this uncertainty that makes lightning so dangerous Norwegian Daniel model recently had a rather disturbing lesson on the unpredictability of lightning 38 year old model has lived in the same house in the coastal municipality of Jurgstad, Norway for more than a decade one day in August 2017 he and a friend decided to step outside to admire a passing thunderstorm it was an impressive sight so he decided to film it model told a local TV station that the lightning was flashing on the horizon when he went out onto his deck in the footage he shot it seems as if the storm is moving away certainly all is pretty quiet in the immediate area that is until seemingly from nowhere the lightning strikes in models film a loud explosion almost like a gunshot is heard clumps of grass and rocks are blasted from the ground landing on the deck where model stands his shock meanwhile is obvious as the camera suddenly jolts upwards before pointing towards his now blackened and smoke-filled garden model and his friend subsequently retreat back into the house where they find that an electrical socket has been blown out by the surge there are scorch marks on the wall around it then stepping back out onto the patio they briefly survey the aftermath of the strike before deciding that it's wiser to go back inside the lightning struck just 20 feet away from where he'd been standing it was powerful enough to not only blow out an electrical socket inside the house but also stop a ceiling fan the crater in his garden meanwhile served as evidence of models lucky escape any closer and it could have been a different story since it's a myth that lightning doesn't strike the same place twice model may think twice about filming a storm from his patio again lightning at close quarters is scary but according to scientists we're not scared enough they say that because lightning often strikes at least two spots at the same time we are 45 percent more likely to be hit than we usually think in fact in the United States only extremely hot temperatures and floods cause more weather related deaths than lightning globally about 24,000 people die each year from being struck by lightning the majority of whom live in developing countries numbers are much lower in the US where an average of 40 people a year die and 400 are injured although that makes it an extremely rare case of death then it may be worth thinking about when the next storm hits according to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration's lightning safety guidelines there's no safe outdoor space during a lightning storm the best thing to do is to head for cover preferably in a large building failing that a car with windows wound up is your best bet as models video shows don't assume a storm has moved off too early 
wait inside at least half an hour after the last thunder rumbles one of the things Noah says you should definitely not do is stay on higher ground it's always a bad idea to shelter under a solitary tree or cliff or to lie down give a wide berth to electrical conductors such as communications towers power lines and metal poles if you're swimming get out of the water and move as far away from it as you can for those unlucky enough to be hit by lightning there are three hazards one is electricity surprisingly a direct hit doesn't always mean death since the body's own electrical resistance may deflect the charge onto the ground the heat can scorch skin tissue and cause air in the lungs to expand damaging the lungs and chest also shock waves from the explosion can cause concussion and affect hearing furthermore you don't necessarily need to suffer a direct hit for lightning to injure or kill you lightning can also splash a person from an object nearby or electrify the ground they're standing on in this way many people can be injured at one time an entire soccer team 11 people died in 1998 when a bolt of lightning struck a field in the Democratic Republic of Congo of course lightning doesn't have to actually strike people at all to be a danger when lightning hit an electrical substation near the Hudson River in 1977 it led to a 25-hour blackout the result was violent rioting and looting throughout New York City in 1769 meanwhile 3,000 people were killed after a lightning strike ignited 207,000 pounds of gunpowder and set the Italian city of Brescia on fire a recent study says that lightning flashes in the United States may increase by 50% over the next 100 years since about half of all wildfires are caused by lightning that's a worrying prediction the study published in science blames climate change for the increased storm activity it's certainly not good news for anyone suffering the third most common phobia in the US astrophobia the fear of lightning please share this video with your friends below